On mission day, nobody can sleep. You're hyped. You're scared to death. This is not taking an airplane ride, right? The idea was to land at a particular spot on the moon. We were pretty confident about everything except for that last part, which was the powered descent. known each other all this time and uh, we actually have lunch once a month together. We're just buddies now. I decided my senior year in high school I wanted to be a programmer and about my junior year in college I decided I was going to work for IBM. When I first worked in Bethesda, Maryland, I lived on Pennsylvania Avenue just right down the street from John Kennedy and he said we're going to put a man on the moon and I went Gosh, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> At that time, we thought we were pretty hot stuff with a thousand words of memory on a drum and, and so forth. I mean, you wrote these programs with a pencil and an eraser. You go into our building, you'd see people running around at two o'clock in the morning with these boxes and all these cards in there. And it was sort of a combination of art and science. Okay, all flight controllers, gonna go for landing. Retro, go, Fido. go, Guide. go. When I knew that the spacecraft was 100 feet above the ground, we quickly determined that Neil Armstrong was doing hover mode. 4200. Houston, go for landing, over. He was flying it like a helicopter above the ground, trying to find a good place to land. He had ice water in his veins. Stayed calm, stayed cool, stayed collected. How did your pulse rate? It went up. <laughs> My take is he had around 20 seconds left of fuel, or he would have had to abort. I remember praying, dear Lord, just help him put it down. Just put it down. And about 15 seconds later, he put it down. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. First off, you feel this enormous <sighs> relief that it actually worked and nothing I did screwed up, I don't think. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Then you go crash because you hadn't slept in three days, right? And the fact of the matter is we'd have never gotten to the moon and we'd have never landed and we'd have never come home safe if it hadn't have been for the IBM hardware and software and operations support. It couldn't have been done. Man cannot think that fast. The computers could and we could build them and we did. You're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. I had a two-year-old son, and I had a daughter who was two months old. And so I took both of them outside, and I took my son and said, Greg, look at the moon. You looked at the moon while men walked on it. And I remember that just as if it happened yesterday. I think it's pretty clear that at the time in 1969, IBM took a major risk in working with NASA. The number of things that could have gone wrong uh, in that mission are enormous. I think it says a lot about IBM and IBMers. We solve problems, we love to solve problems. The bigger, the better, and that's what IBM is all about. We are a trusted partner for some of the most difficult problems in the world.